what we are going to do is basically to start customizing our website homepage. And at the moment, our homepage looks just like this. So how do we start customizing our homepage to make changes to the uh, content over here? We are going to simply come back here to our dashboard. We're going to come to pages and click on all pages. And right here, we're going to look up for the homepage. And under homepage, you're going to click on edit with Elementor. I'll open that in a new tab. Elementor is the world's leading page builder. And at the moment, you can use it to edit any section of your website by simply dragging and dropping sections, elements, or widgets to your Elementor editing canvas. And that is also called as live editing in terms of what you do is actually what you get. See, now after editing, maybe changing a couple of words or sections, and on the live preview, you exactly see how your website is going to look like. At the moment, we are going to make changes to this section. For example, we are going to delete these columns over here. For example, I'm going to delete this and delete this. And then I'll also delete this other column. And now I'll remain with just one word over here. I'm going to make sure that this button is centered. So by clicking over here on the widget, edit icon and come over here to the button options and make it centered. I'm going to make that everything within this column is actually padded. But before there is some other widget over here or text widget, I'm going to delete that. So I come over here to our main section option by clicking over there. I can come over here to the advanced section and I can pad everything. So in this case at the top, it was given a 190 pixel at the top because they wanted to use a transparent header and this was going to be the transparent section. But on our hand, we want to add padding on the side and right this side. So how do you do that? You come over here, you have to make sure that this is unlinked. By unlinked, I mean that once you make changes to any of this section, for example, if you change this to another pixel or to another number, automatically everything will be changing to the same uh, digit that you enter over there. So when you unlink that section, you can make changes to these digits to any section that you want. For example, on the right hand, we want to add like 100 and then on the left hand, we want to add like 102. And this is how it will look like on the home page. But at the same time, I want our content in this section to be centered. Okay. Now, once we preview this, that's how it's looking like, but I think we can also add more padding at the top. So when we come over here, so when we click here on this section and you look here at the padding, we can add more padding over there. For example, we can make it like 290 and you see how that looks like. Looks beautiful. Or what we can do if you don't want to add more padding at the top, you can simply add more margin at the top so that we move this section from the top or from the header, because right now it is uh, kind of sitting behind the header because ideally the header was meant to sit on top of this. But we won't go into those details. We want to simply add padding at the top and we see how that looks like. Okay. Having a background image, our header and all this over here. Now, the other thing that we are going to do is we want to see how this is going to look like on the tablet. We don't want uh, this section to look just like this. So what I'm going to do is, number one, I can simply uh, duplicate this section. Now that means we'll have another section over there. We can delete this column. And once we did that column, we'll have an empty section just like this. We can come over here and then we copy this uh, widget and we can paste it over here. You see now how we have another column and then copy the button itself. So copy, come here to our section and then we paste. Take note of these sections. This one in blue is the main section that is holding whatever you see when you highlight or when you hover over this section over here, where the blue goes, that is what that section is holding. And here, this is a column and this is holding whatever is in that column. When you hover over here, you see that the column is this. And inside here, we have an intersection, and that is the intersection that is holding this over here and also the button. Okay, now we are going to delete something. We don't want this widget over here. 
so we are going to delete that and that's how we come to have this section on the tablet now when we go on the mobile version this is how it looks like really beautiful okay you can even make changes to the typography settings of uh, the mobile version now when we hit update and we're going to come over here to our home page this is the page before i'll open that up in the new tab boom before and after i hope you like that me too i like it so the other thing we can do is we can make changes here and say uh, maybe Kampala's modern or Kampala's design solutions or modern designs whatever you want but at least you have an idea on how you can make changes on the text over here and uh, the link you can make this content over here linkable to anywhere when someone clicks over here by pasting here a hyperlink for example you can come over here and uh, get a link to a specific page and that page you add it over here and then you are good to go you can make changes to the html tag of this because if you want to style up in a certain way all h1 tags then that styling will apply to everything that is h1 tag and here is where you can make changes to that and like before i've told you how you can make changes to the alignment of this specific section or widget but also you can choose a different alignment based on a device someone is viewing for example if someone is on tablet you can say you want them to uh, see this text when it is left aligned but when they are on desktop of course they are going to see this text when it is center aligned but i want to leave everything when it's center aligned so i come back here and i set it to be center aligned uh, we can also view this on a mobile and this is how it looks like you can also make changes to the padding and styling but before we go into that let me head straight back to the desktop version and then we come over here to the style option and you see that our text is white color so when we come over here we can make changes to the color of the text you can change it to whatever you want i want to leave it to be white typography you can change that to any kind of typeface that you want for example if you want to use like pt sans you can set that to be your font if you want to use the like montezerat of course by default it's even using montezerat so i'll simply leave it on default okay now once you are done with that there is something here called a button by clicking over here on the button widget you can come over here and make changes to the button first of all we are interested in the link if someone clicks on this button where should they go maybe you want them to go to a specific website maybe this is my newsletter go take ug forward slash newsletter so you simply just bring them over here and then they will be able to sign up so when i come over here to my editor and then i paste the url to that newsletter now when someone clicks on this button they'll be taken to a newsletter but maybe you want them to open up in a new tab when someone clicks on this button they'll open up in a new tab and maybe you want to add a no follow link or you want to make this link a no follow this works very well if you don't want to pass on link juice to another website you are linking to from your website now that aside you can make changes to the call to action text over here for example see our projects and then maybe you can rename this to be our portfolio and uh, maybe you don't want these colors and you want to make changes to the colors you can simply come over here to style you can change the typography this includes the font and at the moment it's using Montezurat by default you can add a text shadow you can change the color you can even change the background color of the button itself to whatever you want i want to leave everything at default at the moment and you can even add padding top bottom below of this same padding or even uh, whatever is inside there and then there is something here called uh, under the hover animation when someone hovers on this button which is not normal so on hover what happens it is sinking you can change that to be a bob when i hover see now it's changing if i use a uh, skew backward see how that looks like but maybe i want to simply use a buzz something like that okay looks like too much but basically you have an idea 
on what I'm trying to say. Now uh, you can even change this icon over here to maybe something else, maybe portfolio, portrait, whatever. Maybe you can add simply another one, search for another one. Okay, maybe a file one would work, something like that. Okay, you can even show it before or even after. You can add the spacing of before for that icon. There you are good to go. Now, once you are done making changes to this specific uh, section, you can simply hit update. Now, when we come back here to our home page, we are going to reload. And boom, here comes our newly designed hero section, Kampala's design solutions, the button over here. Uh, we changed the icon. And uh, when you look at the website before or the hero section before, this is how it was looking like. Now I think we have something looking a little bit uh, organized for the content on the front end. And when someone clicks over here, automatically they are taken to a new tab. And that new tab is to another website or any link that is in within your website that you want to link up to or specifically another page. And uh, if you want to link to another page, you simply just come over here and search for that page. Let me say the home page or maybe the services page. And by default, once you select the services page, it will update and uh, you don't want the services page to open up in a new tab. So when I update this, when I come over here to our website, I'm going to reload this. Now, when someone comes over here to view your portfolio, you realize that actually it is going to take them to the service page and it won't open up in a new tab. Okay, now that's something really nice. Uh, I'm going to come back here to our button on the styling options. I want to change on hover the buzz. I want to change it to something uh, maybe like glow. Once I am done uh, setting up that section, we can also make changes to any other sections of our website. By coming back here to the home page, using the same tactics I've shown you, you can make changes to this section over here and all these other sections. But before we go into that, I'm going to delete this section. We don't want it. So we just simply leave this uh, simple and neat. You can uh, change this over here. You can either even add like another section. For example, when I click here on add new, I can add another section from scratch. I can, you know, add like one column, two columns, three columns of sections, for example, like this. Now that means I have three columns. I can come over here, get uh, a widget that I want to show over there. I can come back here, get maybe another widget for a video I want to show on that section can come back here to the widgets area by clicking back here. Then I can maybe add like a price list by clicking over here. Okay, now I can't actually add a price list because it is actually in the pro version of Elementor. Uh, if you need to use any of these widgets, you'll simply uh, come over here to the new tab, enter in gotekug for slash Elementor. This will take you to the Elementor pricing page and see that actually some of these pro widgets can only be accessed once you have the pro version of Elementor. So once you consider getting Elementor, you can simply follow the link and you can get like, for example, a single site license at $49 per year, uh, a three website license at $99 per year. And this will give you a lot of flexibility in terms of uh, creating content for your website. But now we are only going to focus at using the freely available widgets in the Elementor. So, for example, when I come back here, I can add maybe a star rating widget. And for the star rating widget, I can click over here, come to style, and I can change the size of that star rating. I can change the color of that star rating. You know, it is basically what you read over here and you can simply change to whatever you want. Okay, you can align, can change the title of that star rating widget. You can come back here and select the widget edit option and come to the style and you can make a couple of things. For example, you can change the background to a single color of something or you can simply 
come here and select maybe a gradient that you want to use you can come back here to the layout of this same widget and give it like a minimum height and that minimum height may be something like maybe 490 something like that so that it has that kind of specific height that you have set up when we come back to our styling you can change the colors for the gradient to the color that you want to be shown in the gradient section and also the other color you can change it over here you can even just uh, enter in the color code of your colors for example if i want to use this one over here you can simply enter here my color code okay and you can even change the transparency of one of those colors you can change the location of the color you can switch the angle of that color you can you know make changes to what happens on hover when someone hovers over this section maybe you want to basically show another gradient for example when someone hovers over that section you see now the color is switching but maybe that's not what you want to do by coming back here to the layout you can choose to show to make the layout to be boxed or full width you can choose the minimum height like i've told you vertical align vertical aligns is basically affecting whatever is within the specific section by default it is centered but if i change this to top it will automatically make everything that is within that to be centered to the top or even the bottom it will be at the bottom or middle so i simply leave it at default on the advanced settings you can come over here and set the margin the margin on the top when you set it it will automatically create space at the top from the very first uh, section to the other section and even at the same time if it's affected at the bottom that space will be there if you unlink over here and remove this automatically the margins below will be deleted in this case we don't want to add margins and then for the padding padding is basically the space that is added for all the elements that is within in here so if we say like we want to add like 300 of padding that's how it will look like if you want like add 30 that's how it looks like both top bottom right and uh, left you can unlink and also maybe add uh, padding specifically maybe to the right and maybe to the left and you have all that space now we are not going to go into that so i'm simply going to come back here delete this section uh, to delete the section of course you simply come and delete that section if you want to duplicate a section simply click on that section and duplicate that section okay in this case i'll leave this section over there and uh, on the other hand for example this section here it has an image maybe you are interested in switching over these columns you can simply just come and say switch column by dragging that column to the other side you can also switch columns on mobile for example i select this section i come to advanced i come to the responsive settings i can say reverse columns on tablet for example when i switch this on note that this image is on the left when i go to the tablet you realize now the image has turned to the right hand side if i say reverse columns on mobile it means that also by default remember it is on the left hand side now if i say reverse on mobile again this image is going to move to the right hand side on mobile so by viewing that on mobile that's how it's going to look like okay now i don't want to do anything like that at the moment but i want to show you exactly also how you can use another image for this case so when i come over here i select this image widget i can click over here then i can upload an image from my resources over here for example maybe i want this image for this lady i can simply insert that image over there i can select come back to that image and i can choose the width of the image or even i can change the maximum width but in this case uh, this image looks to be of very low quality so i can simply click over here delete that image come back here and i can look up maybe for another image that can do for me a good job on that very section for example if i choose this it's about 950 pixels i think that can work well you can choose that something like that 
I can delete that. I can come back and then get another image to use. This is the best, the one that was there. And I can easily use that image to this uh, very section. You can add a number of uh, settings. You can add CSS filters, like you can add brightness, sharpness, or whatever you want. You can add uh, saturation, remove saturation, can even make it black and white, something like that. These are some of the really amazing editing features of the Elementor page builder. Now we may also want to use maybe a different background over here on this section by clicking on that section coming to style. You can say I want to use a video as our background or I want to use a slideshow as our background. And of course, a slideshow will keep playing images in the background. And if you choose to use like an, uh, a video, you simply go to like YouTube or any video platform and you can easily add a link of the video that you want to be playing in the background. You can set it up to uh, whatever you want to show up right there. In this case, I'm not interested in showing a video or a background over there. You can still edit any of these sections here, or maybe you can simply create a new section to basically maybe show your portfolio and you can come over here to the widgets area and maybe say like portfolio. This option is only available in the pro version, but maybe you can use a gallery and then come over here, add your gallery. And uh, you can select the number of images you want to show up in your gallery. For example, these images, then you can create a new gallery and you can insert that gallery. See how that looks like. You can choose to use medium size of the images and uh, you can choose the columns, maybe you want three, and you can link those images either to the media file, attachment file, or none. You can uh, use a light box. Example, when now I update this page, I come over here to my page that I'm working on. I reload that page, which is the home page. So now we have this, we have this section, we have this over here, and now we have our gallery over here. Now when someone clicks over here, it will open up in a light box. Someone can navigate through the projects that we have worked on. Okay, using a light box. Now when I come back here to our Elementor website, we can change this and say our winning projects or we can say basically works of our hands. You can even add a description for this specific title over here. You can now delete this other section here if you don't like it or if you don't want to use it. You can also delete this other button over here. But if you want someone to see more of those projects, instead of adding a new section, you can simply drag this button into this other widget or section and it will be right within that section. I can now delete this other one. Then I can center my button right here. And under here, I can simply link that up to our portfolio page by searching here for the portfolio. And when someone now clicks over here, they will automatically be sent to the portfolio page. Once I come back to our homepage, I reload our homepage. You see that now our title has changed to works of our hands and our button is just right under there. Okay. Now the other thing that you can do is, of course, if you don't want to basically go back, you can simply just always click here on preview options and it will basically take you to the preview page and you can still preview the changes that you have done on that specific page. Okay, now, before maybe you go into another section, I want to show you how do you move a section. For example, we are here, and we want maybe this section to be moved to the other section just here, or before this other section here. So you can simply grab here a navigator, and uh, once you select this option, automatically the navigator will highlight that section. So when I select this, I can even say, this section is called why choose us by renaming it. And then maybe I want this section to be just two sections on top, this section and this other section. And that's why now we have that section just there. The same we can do for all the other sections. But in this case, we want this section to be just under why choose us section. And then we can choose that everything after that, we can delete it from our homepage. For example, this section for the logos, 
even the testimonials we can say you know delete that or we can also simply hide a specific section this will basically hide that from uh, your website or you can simply come here to this section and then come to advanced come to responsive and then you can say hide on desktop hide on tablet and hide on mobile now it means that this section will not be available on your website that's why it's even having this kind of uh, a locked feature now once you update automatically your preview page is going to update and once i come right down here you don't see any logos showing up here we can do the same for all the other sections that we want to hide uh, in case you simply don't want to delete a section so i'll simply leave the what our clients have to say section and uh, i am good to go now once i'm done editing my home page i simply update and once i update there we go we have our home page having the sections content our gallery testimonial and that's it